just pretending like it's we're a child during Christmas and we're opening up for the first time. Oh, I'm a kid right now. I forgot. Ah! Saying don't stick your the plug or something. Rumble pack. Rumble pack. Ah! Oh my god. Oh, I didn't even notice this. What the hell? Wait, there's something in this. Okay, well that was the first time I even noticed that. Hello, every children, and Merry Christmas again. This is a new tradition I might be doing where I'm opening up and reliving what it's like to be a child in the 90s because I have an entire collection of video games. So that's what we're doing today is we're unboxing this stuff like I did last year. So last year, I unboxed all of this stuff over here. As you can see, like N64, the controllers and all that stuff. Smaller collection, but I've added to it this stuff in the meantime since last year. So if you want to go watch last year's video, you want to watch this stuff, I'm not going to be opening up today, it's just to here off to the side for now. You can go and watch it, just check my channel, maybe I'll leave like a link or something like that. I don't know how to fucking use YouTube anymore nowadays. Let's get it a little bit more intimate. Uh, I shouldn't be saying that when I was just addressing children. Let's get a little bit more comfy, children. And we'll, we'll bring the camera in a little bit more and like a, a nice, pleasing, relaxing... It's just a nice, relaxing video. It's Christmas. But with that being said, I might destroy some stuff and... Uh, Everything I open, maybe I'll scream like a child. <laughs> okay, well this should be a little bit more uh, intimate and uh, close and all this stuff. So today we got some really exciting stuff. Like the other, the other stuff last year was just like really basic. Like it was N64 and controllers and stuff. This year we got some hidden gems that are really crazy. I'm going to start off with them right away so I don't got to keep you waiting. But as you can see we got stuff like controllers. Got a couple controllers here we'll be opening up. Just pretending like it's, we're a child during Christmas and we're opening up for the first time. We got some hidden gems like Japanese things like Hey You Pikachu with all the stuff included. Who knows? Uh, like stuff like this. And then this is really interesting too from Japan. But yeah, we're going to start with the crazy stuff first. I got my secret camera set up here that should be like the uh, 90s cam or something like that. I think the first one we're going to get into is this, which is really weird, but I think is really cool. Things that like... It's not just a game, but it comes with like bundled stuff. It's really interesting to me. I don't know if like, you can see this, but like, there's like, I have a GameCube stuff there where it's like, it's Donkey Konga, but it comes with like a bongo set. Or like, it's a, uh, uh, what was that, Mario Party 6, and it comes with like a microphone. It's just like weird bundles. Like I said, it comes with like, a bundled controller. So yeah, you, you get the, you open it up. I got this from like a really weird site. I'm not gonna expose what site it is because, man, Westerners should not be finding out about this site. It's like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna even say where it is. But for instance, this bundled and this Hey You Pikachu, great condition, and everything like these really cool things, literally cost me like forty dollars, thirty dollars even. That's how cheap it was. I'm not gonna expose where I'm getting my my hookups from. But as you can see, oh sorry, about the mic is in the way. So we got the game here. You could show that right there. Yep, is that that's the video game. And when you open it up, obviously you get the game and the instructions and all that in it. So let's see. Oh, I'm a kid right now. Shit, I forgot. Oh! Okay, there we go. So this one's interesting because it actually comes with the bag, which I think is really, really cool when it comes with the bag and all that stuff. So there's the game for it, and we got the instructions. I don't quite like the Japanese uh, boxes as much because they're, like, really glossy and they don't really take damage, which I, I, I like when it takes damage and stuff. But here's the uh, instructions, uh, all brand new. Can't read any of it because I'm not... Japanese. I don't know how to read Japanese, but really cool. Uh, comes with like a... I don't know what this is. It's like a user protection thing. I don't know what that is actually. Uh, it's saying don't stick your dick in the plug or something. I actually... Yeah, it's like a... It is like a warning thing, but... So we got that with the box. Put that off to the side, and we got like a little controller manual thing. I think it's just, yeah, telling you how, how do you play it and stuff like that, which is kind of funny. Um, but now we get to the weird part. So inside this box is like an insert or whatnot, which is cool, but it comes with the controller and it's bundled. This is like a, a weird multicolor controller that comes only, and look, it's, an, it's still like perfectly new. It's like perfectly in the bag and everything. But yeah, it's like gray in the back and then black in the front. I get, is that what the kids say? Uh, black at the bottom, <laughs> gray up top, I don't know, but it comes in, like, in the bag, it's really, really cool. I think that's, it's, it's just such a weird little piece, but yeah, great bundle for that. Uh, I think that's pretty much everything that's in it, but yeah, it's just a weird thing. It's like, 
a random little controller that comes with it. I don't know, but yeah, pretty cool, I guess. Alrighty, I'm not gonna leave you guys uh, waiting. I don't know, I mean, if you guys have seen that before, really cool, but uh, hopefully you guys haven't seen this one. I mean, it's pretty popular, but not too popular. So this is Pokemon Stadium, but as you can tell, it's not in like a normal box like that. So what is this? So this is pretty much, I'll show the, the camera. Uh, this is Pokemon Stadium and it comes with a like transfer pack for the Game Boy. So you could put your cartridge and like transfer people over and like your Pokemon and all this stuff with Stadium and your Game Boy Color, I guess. I'm not really sure what it's for. I never used it as a kid, but yeah, it, it comes with a transfer pack. The box is beautiful. I mean, look at look at this box. I mean, look at that. Look at that box. Yep, right, here we go. We got the little manual here. Classic, classic manual. You can go through that. Very good condition. Put that off to the side. We got the another manual thing and instruction booklet for the transfer pack oh look at that yeah a little transfer booklet thing so in here if you can see this it comes with, oh this is really cool too though i love when it comes with like little brochures like this it's basically just showing off like a bunch of colors of the n64 like the colors of the uh the system and the, the controllers and all that stuff and yeah just little doodads i like it i like stuff like that and, oh it's promoting games oh you should check out Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, guys. I think that'll be a really good game. Yeah, I think so. So, yeah, it comes out. There's the box right there. Put that off to the side. And on the inside, it comes with a couple things. One, the transfer pack right here, which is really, really cool. You plug that into your controller, and then you can plug the Game Boy Color, whatever, whatever it takes. Uh, the Game Boy uh, cartridge into it, and you can transfer it, I guess? I don't know how it works. I never actually used it. Just thought that was really, really cool. And then the actual game itself, right there. Classic, right there. But yeah, um, I, I always keep my stuff like all covered up. I don't know if you've seen in the beginning, but I always make sure I put like protective cases on it. So usually these are like in a protective case. I don't keep it in the box, but I keep the box itself in a protective case too. So everything is like displayed. So we probably should just go to something natural. Like a controller. This is a green one. I would say the box is like um, a solid 8 out of 10. It's got a little, little bit of a ding on it. But um, yeah, it, it, I, I like the controllers a lot because I remember them as a kid, actually. I remember having like pretty much every controller except like some of the special bundled ones. Those were ones I never really uh, collected too much. But um, all the colored ones, the regular ones, I, uh, I collected them. So, oh yeah, I keep forgetting to scream like a child. Oh my god, I got fucking I got a, a controller. But yeah, this one's cool. I like the the green one. It was never my favorite one, but it is something really nice. So there's the controller right there. Very pristine, very nice, and the uh, the insert for it. So that was pretty easy. No bag for that one, nothing interesting. No uh, warranty. I like when I get the the warranty and everything like that. I think that's kind of fun. Um, we should probably just open like a real game. Like uh, this one. You guys like this game? Whoa, look at that. Super Mario, uh, or Mario Kart 64. I thought, I, was, I actually thought I grabbed uh, Super Mario 64. But yeah, this is Mario Kart uh, 64. And this one should be pretty good. The, the box isn't the greatest. Um, it's the PAL version too, which I don't like as much. And that's not me just being biased because I'm from North America. It's just like, I don't like the boxes as much. Uh, the PAL ones are just black. Why would you want black? All around it, I don't know really. Like, I'd rather it just all be colored. But on the inside, we got the game, classic, classic game right there, and the uh, the insert. Put this off to the side so I don't ruin it. And this is nice because it comes in the original uh, plastic, which I thought was pretty cool. So yeah, on the inside, you get the booklet, and I think this is the exact same thing as the other thing, promoting the. Uh, the uh, controllers and all that stuff, which I think is pretty funny. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, the, the booklet and stuff like that, but I love when it comes with the original plastic. I think that like adds a lot of value in my eyes. It's just like, wow, I don't even remember that as a kid. I think that's why I collect all this stuff. I'm like, I don't remember any of these boxes. So it's just really, really unique to me. So uh, yeah, moving on to this, I guess. Another thing, uh, like obviously I, I said I don't like the Japanese ones as much because I like, I mean I like how they look, I think they look cool, but I just don't like the glossiness. And I don't like that it's plastic on the inside, Japan loves plastic, uh, as you can tell it's all plastic. There's the game, J I, obviously I don't play it because I don't have a Japanese one, well it's NTSC isn't it? 
Uh, I think so, but this is really cool. I never actually looked at this. Welcome, happy mini games, all this stuff. The, it's obviously great condition. I just find that Japanese stuff is like, it's easier to keep in good condition. That's why I don't like it. I like when it's like, like in CS, when a skin is like, um, uh, like really hard to get factory new. I always like, it's more sought after because it's like less people have it really good. So that's probably why another reason why Japanese games are just like, I'll, I'll just wait and put that back. I, I guess that's that why they're cheaper, but I, I love Mario Party. It's one of my favorite games of all time. So you got, you got to give some respect to it. Uh, well, here we go. Uh, we might as well go on to something weird. I'm going to go, I'm going on to this. Hey, you Pikachu, Japanese, got this insanely cheap, like so insanely cheap and it comes with everything in it. Oh my God, who would have thought? So when you open this up, what do we get here? We get the game on top here. It's a little squashed, that's okay. So when you open it up, you get the game in it. Classic, I always keep these in, like I said, like a bit of plastic and all this stuff to protect it, like a little showcase. And then you get the manual and all that good stuff. It's just kind of normal, normal manual. Great noise it made there too. That's the plastic for you. Um, put this here and what we get here is like a really worn old manual in Japanese, which I think is just really cool, but I don't want to open it because it's really fragile, but this is weird. So you strap it to your either your head or the controller, which I, I didn't realize because I played this growing up. So you can strap this to your head, like a gaming headset, like X, uh, Xbox 360 headset, and then the mic would go in there, which I, I don't remember doing that ever. Um, or you could strap it to the can, uh, controller with this, which I also don't remember, unless it's, Japanese is different, but you can strap that to the controller and the mic goes in there, which I think is kind of funny. Um, I just remember holding it, and here's the mic itself. So. If you don't know, hey, hey Pikachu, you talk to Pikachu through it. Be like, hey Pikachu, fuck off, go get an apple or something like that. And then she'll go and do it. I mean, not very well, obviously, but uh, the only thing it's missing is the little yellow tip, the little infected tip. Uh, it is missing that, but yeah, you take that, you plug it into this box right here, and the box then goes into the console, and that's how you talk to Pikachu, and you tell her what to do. I liked the game a lot as a kid. I thought it was really cool. I just don't remember these accessories. I don't remember the headset and I don't remember the, the controller thing. And let me know if that was like only a, uh, a Japanese thing or was it like in the N NA2? I, I don't remember, but I just thought that was crazy. Like I got this for like 10 bucks, like for my secret hookup site. Like you can't go wrong with that. So yeah, we're getting down to like the last couple things here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open, uh, let's go ahead and open F-Zero, one of my favorite games of all time. A real sleeper, if you ask me, because some people just sleep on the game. I don't know why, but this one isn't my favorite. This is my second favorite one. Uh, I actually like F-Zero for the GameCube a little bit more, but this one is just badass. And if we turn to the 90s camera, you can see it comes in the bag, which has big bonus points for that. The original bag is in here, which I, I didn't even know it came in a bag which is kind of weird, but yeah, I, I didn't actually know that. And it comes with a bunch of booklets. So this one, this one's like really heavy, but I guess just the booklet is just super thick. So yeah, just a regular booklet for, uh, for uh, F-Zero there. But I just thought that that bag alone is like super nice. And this box is crazy. Like there's not really much dents in it. It's really, really clean. I don't like taking my stuff out of the boxes at all. I'm a bit of like a collector and I just like putting it in the boxes. So. I don't actually ever take it out. So yeah, that's just me maybe, I don't know. I think it's because when I take it out of the box, I feel like I'm damaging it like slowly over time. The more you take it out, the more it gets exposed to the elements and stuff. So doing shit like this where I'm punching it and throwing it around and stuff like that, it's probably like a little painful to some people just like it is to me. But uh, this is a really quick one. Rumble pack. Rumble pack. Yeah, pretty crazy. Um, you put it in the controller and it rumbles. A uh, uh, little bit of a bonus point. It's got the sticker on it. it. says it was 15 pounds at HMV. I don't know what fucking year. HMV is a UK store. Obviously, cause that's where I live here right now. And uh, sadly, when you open this one up, there's nothing in it except the rumble pack itself, which you get there. But hey, there you go, children. Vibrate away if you want to. 
Uh, yeah, Rumble Pack. No, no insert in that bad boy, but what can you do? You can't win them all. So let's just go ahead and put that to the side. So before we open up these last two like actual things, I'm going to go ahead and show off what's been hiding at the front of the table here. All of my Nintendo powers that I uh, display all along my wall here. I'm definitely going to need the 90s camera for this. It, there's just a lot, of, lot to show off here. So we got the N Nintendo Power. I don't know if you know this, but it's a, like a North American issuer that like discontinued a handful of years ago. But I love the N64 and GameCube era stuff. So for instance, Hey You Pikachu, which we just looked at. So yeah, it's uh, just like a, a subscription base thing. It was really, really cheap to do. Just like, I don't know, like 10 bucks or something. Oh, wait, no, f $5. $5 back in the day to get like get this once a month or whatever, and uh, yeah, I just think they're really cool. So you got Hey You Pikachu, and you can skip through it, and it's like basically ads for like upcoming games and all this stuff, and in the middle, a lot of time they give you like interesting stuff, like this one has a Pokemon Gold version in the middle. What, what is this even? Oh, yeah, there might be something else. Oh, look, you can mail in The Legend of Zelda to get a hat. You can get a Majora's hat mat. Oh my god, and Donkey Kong. Holy shit. Actually, I haven't read uh, into a lot of these, but that's really cool. And it, like, you can like mail in and like order stuff. I guess fifteen bucks. That ain't, that ain't bad for a nice hat. But so we got Hey You Pikachu. We got Donkey Kong sixty four. Little little scratch that one, but uh, that's okay. It's still a really funny one. We got uh, one of my favorite games of all time, Mario Party one. Uh, does this one have an insert in the middle. Some of them have really cool inserts. Yeah, like like posters and stuff. Yeah, this one's like a. Oh, what is the Oh, Rampage. Shit, look at that. Rampage, baby. I don't even know if they could see all that, but Rampage 2. Got like a poster you could cut out as a kid, and it, like, obviously I want the ones where the kids didn't cut them out because they're more valuable that way. And we got, uh, this one's really cool. This is uh, Mario Party 2, my favorite Mario Party. And I think this one has a, like a poster or something, or... Maybe a, I feel like it has a calendar. How do I get it out even? I don't even know. <laughs> How do I get it out? Oh, here we go. Calendar. Look at that. Look at this bad boy. Now, how did no kid open that up and take that out? I would have. It's a 2000, year 2000 with fucking Pokemon and, the, and Mario in it. That's really, really cool. I, I, I would have I torn that out as a kid and used it as a calendar. But yeah, year 2000 calendar. So we got Mario Party 2. We got some Pokemon Yellow. Classic. Pokemon Snap, classic. Pokemon Stadium, can you tell I like Pokemon? And Kirby 64. And I have a bunch of them back, uh, since I'm going back to the US, I have like a, a pile of them there, but they're just too heavy to bring in my suitcase. So yeah, I left them there. But yeah, I just put those along my wall, which is really cool. A lot of Pokemon stuff in there. If, if you notice, I like Pokemon. But behind me, I have like a whole Pokemon collection. Like those are literally from 1999, the Hollow, Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur. So I might actually do like a, a Pokemon kind of haul thing, like because I, I only collect like graded cards, and I have like a pile of the, all the slabs from PSA. Maybe I'll do like a Pokemon card in the future, like kind of unboxing and stuff. But uh, still, still a little too early for it. I still need more of the collection. I only have a handful of cards. But uh, what we'll do is we'll save the controller for last and go to this. So this is Super Mario 64. In the last video, I, I I unboxed this as well. I don't like open it that way. It felt a little weird. But that one was the North American or Australian version, I think I have. I, you saw at the beginning. Um, and now I have the PAL version, which doesn't look as good because it has the black borders. But favorite game of all time right there. And then, I mean, what can you say about it? It's just literally the best game. Best era, just like my favorite game of all time. It's got the manual, and what's this? I actually haven't looked at this. I, like I said, I tend not to open them. Ooh, ooh, look at that, Game Boy. Damn, look at that, it's promoting a, a bunch of Game Boy stuff. That's cool, the new dimensions of fun. That's true, it is very fun. Man, check out N uh, N64's uh, Super Mario 64, it's such a good game. Coming out soon, guys. I can't wait. Oh my god. Thanks, Mom. Thanks for buying me that. And now we're on to the last thing. Nothing crazy, but it is an incredible condition. Black controller. One of my favorite controllers. Red and black, I think, were my favorites. And then I think the Atomic Purple, which I need to get. 
Uh, as well as the yellow I need to get as well. The yellow is pretty badass. I just need to collect all the controllers. Like I was saying, I remember those as a kid. We had like every single one except like the special like Pokemon one or something like that. But yeah, this one is really cool because you get the classic. You get the classic. What is this? Uh, the warranty, the 90 day warranty. Look at that. 90 days. Oh, I'll have to make sure I return this if, if I trip over this and I spill my, my cup of milk and mommy gets mad at me. But yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice this. What the hell? What's in this? Wait, there's something in this. Controller pack. What the fuck? It's, it was, this was plugged into the controller right here. What, what even is this? A controller pack? Um, okay, well that was the first time I even noticed that. I didn't even check to see if there was anything in it. I don't even know what that's for. It literally just looks like it so it doesn't get dirty or something, but there's the controller. Really good condition. Just a little bit of dirt there from the table or whatnot, but it's a, it's, it's perfect. Uh, I love the black one a lot. I've completely just made a mess out of this whole room and I need to clean up now, but um, that was the Christmas haul. I think I've been doing a lot better. Uh, last year I had like four or five things to open. That was quite a lot and I sped run it pretty well, but uh, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, sorry for being gone for so long uh, and not showing my face or anything like that. I was literally in the US for months and months. I had to go back again because of this visa stuff and uh, it's just a nightmare, absolute nightmare, but I just want to make more videos, but I've just been gone away from my computer. I have to use a shitty Mac and that doesn't go over very well. You cannot game on that. But um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it a lot. Merry Christmas. I hope you guys have a great year. Let me know down in the comments what you want for Christmas this year, what you're hoping to get, what you would you get for someone? Because I love giving gifts more than I like receiving them. So would you guys uh, get, uh, buy someone? What, what are you hoping to get? What do you, what's your plans? You know, you have any family plans? Just let me know down in the comments. Let me know if you'd be interested in the Pokemon collection and if I should do this again next year because I know my collection will grow. I already have GameCube stuff being collected and I might expand to even Game Boy and Game Boy Advance and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, need a bigger house at this rate because I'm out of room. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you enjoyed and Merry Christmas. And I'll see you guys hopefully very, very soon. Bye.